buenos dias. It's day 19 or 20 of walking the Camino de Santiago. It's 6.30 a.m. and I'm already on the road. Really quiet country road. I love this. I don't mind walking on the road when there's no traffic. It actually feels quite liberating because you can, well, don't do this at home kids, but you can walk in the middle of the road. You can walk on the side of the road. You can walk on any part of the road that you want. But it's a very fresh morning here. I'm excited to, to get out. I put a post up yesterday, or the day before. It might have been on my personal page, talking about why I love, it's just a short snippet, but why I love walking. And uh, it's not something that I've always enjoyed, but I find that, and this goes for running and cycling too, or whatever else, you know. But I just used walking for an example. When I'm feeling stressed, when I'm feeling angry, when I'm feeling lonely, when I'm feeling anything I don't want to be feeling, I can go for a hike, I can go for a walk, and I find that if I keep walking and I keep doing that for any amount of time, then I most definitely will feel less stressed, less, less anxi anxiety, uh, less angry, less whatever else that might be. So that's just one reason why I love to walk places. Of course, it's not the main one. The main one is that it takes you places. It brings you out places like this, you know, and even at 6.30 in the morning, I can be happy about that. I don't know if any of you noticed to see my shades match my shorts. It wasn't intentional, but it's great. I just went into this town, El Ganzo, to get a coffee, and nothing's open. It's things are never open in the morning, even though they know pilgrims start walking at six or seven. These towns don't open till quite late, but it's quite it's quite frustrating to be honest with you because most people enjoy a coffee in the morning, whereas I will have walked about 14k because the next town is another 7k until I get one. So, it's a hard life on the Camino. And by the way, thank you to Don and Alls for buying me a lot of the coffees on this trip. I really appreciate it. If you would like to buy me a coffee uh, for the videos that I make, I'll put a link in the description below. Please feel free to do so. I really like Cafe Con Leche. So today, my friends, we're gonna go on a walk. I don't know where I'm going to, believe it or not. And I think at this stage of the Camino, that's the way a lot of people treat this. They don't make bookings. They just get up and walk in the morning and then they stop whenever they feel like they need or want to stop. That's certainly how I do it. I, it often happens where I walk into a town with the intention of staying in that town but then I suddenly find myself walking out the other side for one reason or another and then I just keep going because then you're committed and once you've gone exactly 14 steps from the town you can't go back it's too far I've only seen one person this morning they're about every time I turn this camera on I trip over something they're about still about at least, I'd say 500 meters ahead of me. And they must be walking pretty quick, because I'm going pretty quick. But other than that, I haven't seen a single person all morning. So if you're gonna walk the Camino and you don't wanna walk with other people, do it either very early in the morning or walk in the afternoon, because nobody walks in the afternoon either. And it's not, I'm not trying to avoid people, it's just the way it's happening right now. I'm actually hoping, hoping I can catch Varun, Carolina, and possibly Shannon, it's our last day walking. I would have loved to have met up while Shannon was with them, but I'm, I'm not sure that I'll catch them today because they will have left the town I'm coming into within the next 30 minutes. They would have left here a couple of hours ago. And that's, it's very hard to catch someone that's even an hour ahead or 30 minutes ahead, never mind two hours. And they walk pretty quick, but I'm actually just walking around this little town now looking for, just for coffee. All right, just something small to eat. There's nowhere open at all. It says they're open at 11. I actually can't walk to the next town because it's six. I can, but I'm not gonna. It's another six kilometers. That would mean walking 20 kilometers without having the coffee or anything to eat. So, uh, just gonna walk around here and hopefully find something. Look at 
gotta be something. I did manage to buy a little croissant in a shop there, which wasn't very satisfying, but it's a bit of fuel that'll keep me going to the next place. And I do have, I have this here, agua, which is effectively the same as frappuccino without any flavor, right? Yeah. Woo! It's a, quite a relentless climb for the Camino. A little bit steep in places, very rocky. But yeah, for the Camino, which is mostly flat, this is quite a climb. Fine Camino. Hola. I actually got a coffee in the last town there. I forgot to video it. But that's because I, I wasn't, by the time I reached the town, I wasn't even looking forward to it anymore. It, it, it's sort of, I guess you could compare it to when you're cooking. Not that I do this much, but when you're cooking a meal, a lot of people, by the time they've actually cooked it, they're not really that hungry anymore. I'd been thinking about coffee for so long this morning. And then I was so devastated and disappointed when I didn't get one that I just was like, whatever. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Look at this. Is that the Krusty Krab? <laughs> hey. no, no, no. I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, you made it! Do before you head off, do your your accent, see if it's improved. Oh. <laughs> Give me something to say. One, two, one, three, two, three, one, two, three, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>